Hello everyone, and welcome back to another GIS mathematics lecture video. And in this video, I actually want to do something a little bit different. I actually want to go through on a generic Windows calculator how you can actually calculate the trigonometric functions. So up to this point, we calculated trigonometric functions based on the relationship between an angle and two sides of a triangle. But let's say that you were given, I want to know the cosine of, say, 15 degrees for a problem. And how would you go about actually calculating that? Well, on the Windows calculator, and again, if you have if you have a graphing calculator or a um, upper end regular calculator, you probably already know how to do it on there. But just in case for some reason you don't, you can always do these things on a Windows standard calculator. So this is the Windows standard calculator. And what you're going to do is up here on the left hand corner where it says open navigation, you're going to click this. And you'll see that we have all these different options, which in and of itself, knowing about these options is kind of useful. But if you click on scientific, you'll see the layout changes, you have a lot more functions included. The one that we're going to look for is up here where it says trigonometry. You'll see here that we have sine, cosine, tangent, secant, cosecant, and cotangent. Right, so these are the six trigonometric functions that we've talked about. You'll also notice this button here, switches from degrees to radians, right? So degrees is DEG, radians is RAD, don't worry about grad. So let's say we wanted to know the sine of 15 degree angle. So we'll first we'll make sure we're in, in degrees, then we will click trigonometry and we will click sine. This is the sine of a 15 degree angle. Right. Let me walk through that again. You first type in your angle. In this case, we're in degrees, so we want this to read degrees. You're going to click trigonometry, and you're going to click sine, and you'll see that we get the value of the sine of 15 degrees. Okay. So let's say instead we wanted to do a 45 degree angle. Right. We'll clear that out with the delete key. Right. We would type in 45 click the trigonometry, and actually let's do, let's do tangent just to prove that this works. What's the tangent of 45 degrees? It's one, okay? Now let's say that instead we wanted to do the cosine of 90 degrees, right? We would do 90 trigonometry, let's do cosecant. The cosecant of 90 degrees is also one. Maybe 90 degrees is, isn't a good example. Let's do 65 degrees and look at the cosecant of 65 degrees. Okay. Let's talk about radians. How would we do radians? Go ahead and delete that. Well, we have this pi button right here, right? So we could do, let's do... 2 pi over, let's do pi over 4. That's 45 degrees, right? So if we click the pi button, it generates pi for us. If we hit the divide key, divide by 4 and hit enter, right? So this is the value of that angle in radians, right? So this is, this is pi over 4 radians. We have to make sure we switch from degrees to radians, keeping this here. Then we click the trigonometry and we click sine. So this is the sine of a 45 degree angle. So it stores it right up here. Let's just double check that with switching this back to degrees, typing in um, 45 trigonometry sine right and we do in fact get the same thing right this is the sine in radians of this this is the sine in degrees of 45 so we do get the same answer so it checks hopefully this made sense again this is more of a demonstration video on how to calculate the values of a, of a given angle so hopefully that makes sense and if you have any questions please reach out thank you